everyone, Man of Rohan here. I am playing tonight EverQuest 2, which, don't hate me you EverQuest fans, this actually is more my more favorite game of EverQuest and EverQuest 2. So, um, don't hate me. <laughs> I, uh, I do love the original EverQuest, but when this came out it was just, it blew my mind even more. So, um, here we go, EverQuest 2. I'm going to start from the beginning. Uh, I do have a few other characters. This uh, Reclantron is my very oldest character on this game. In fact, I started him, or that's still around anyway, um, I started him very close to the very beginning in 2004. He still exists, um, but I got to a certain point and I stopped playing this for a while, and then it became free to play, and then um, I started playing again because it's it's fun to play so what was that don't, don't get rid of him. I'm not gonna get rid of him storm pizza that's my son storm pizza who streams with me sometimes so and has his own channel so go visit it storm pizza um, he is a fun fun kid and he's got a lot of funny things to say so um, and then just some other folks but um, anyway I am going to create a level one character you can create a 95 character from the beginning if you wanted to speed up and join your friends um, who are already in a lot of the, excuse me, higher level content. Um, I am not one of them. I just want to play and have fun. Um, I do. I'm, I am playing on a on a free to play version of this game, uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to. You can certainly pay a pay a subscription. Um, it's a monthly one, uh, and you can also pay for um, kind of upgrades that last, so I can pay for another character slot, I can pay for, uh, there are certain things, uh, and, and I can open up some classes, things like that, that I couldn't in another, another way. Most of the classes are open though, I think now, so they've made some changes, um, but it, you can do almost everything um, with regular free-to-play accounts. So. I will. I'll start playing. Um, so let's have some fun. I'm going to choose my level one character right there. And I can, like I said before, this is traditional. It's a traditional server. So at the level of server, the server rules and everything that we are dealing with today, that's what it is. You can also do a progression server. It does require a membership. So that, that monthly fee um, for at least a month. Um, and then you can experience it for at least a month. And then, uh, so basically, expansion is locked. Um, so, meaning, it starts at the beginning, the first vanilla game. Uh, basically, it's still modified. The way the game used to be it doesn't exist anymore, apparently. I actually really miss the original version of EverQuest 2. I thought it was absolutely masterfully created and designed. Everything was um, down to the down to the sounds, down to everything that would happen. It just was made to have a great experience um, and and far superior to every quest, the original. Don't say anything. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can play that way and it, depending on where that server is, um, they might have so everyone votes on the server to say, hey, let's go to the next expansion which the first expansion from Vanilla was Desert of Flames and so you get to experience the Desert of Roe and some of those things that were in the original as, as well. The Oasis of Mar, I think, is there as well. But there's a new city called Majdul, which is pretty cool. You can, um, there are these kind of genie wizards. Um, well, there's a, wizards and there's these uh, factions, these three factions in the city. And it's pretty exciting, actually. Uh, it was very fun when it came out. One of the one of the better expansions, and it was the first one. So, um, and then this event, um, I actually haven't ever played this. So, race for awards before the the event ends. I I don't know what this is all about. So, uh, probably maybe you start it at one, and you'll have to try and get to a certain place before the event. Maybe it's a week long or two weeks or something. I'm guessing, totally guessing. And then the free trade, again, haven't done this one, but it looks like there are there are items that are no trade in the game, and you'll see. And if you've seen any, any EverQuest videos of, of mine or anyone else's, you'll see that there are items that you can't just give to people. Um, they're, they are worth nothing, and they can't even use them because they're locked 
on you. Uh, this game actually does that more so than, than the original EverQuest. There's a lot more free trade with the original. Uh, anyway, let's get going. Create a character. Um, this is one of the innovations that by EverQuest 2 that I really love. Fighter, uh, where they do the archetypes. So they have fighter archetypes, which that the, all your classes are in here. Guardian, Berserker, Monk, Bruiser, Paladin, Shadow Knight. This is kind of the good side on the left and the bad side. Uh, in fact, as you continue on, you'll see if you choose one of these, you'll likely start in the good city, and which is Kinos. Um, or as I said, Quenos when I first played the original EverQuest. And then this side, uh, actually this one can be both, but this side uh, is basically the bad side and you can start in Freeport. It also depends on your race. Um, priests, same thing, Templar, Inquisitor. Warden, can't do Channeler because you have to pay for it. See the little Daybreak Games money. Fury, Mystic, Defiler. I have a Mystic. Blast to play. Great healer. Um, if you want to be a pure healer, Templar, but then these other ones. All of them are good. All of them can can be raid worthy, um, I think anyway. Maybe some people would be would disagree, but there's hot debates on that sometimes. Uh, Wizard, Warlock in the Mage class, Illusionist, Coercer, these are your um, your two, if you look at EverQuest original, your two Enchanter classes. These are your, is your Wizard. Um, Warlock is the bad side. And then Conjurer, there was a Necromancer, but no, no Conjurer, and Conjurer, he's actually my main. I loved being, and still do, love being a Conjurer. So fun. Um, Necromancers kind of, I don't know, took over. People liked them more because they were evil, I guess. But, and then uh, scouts, swashbucklers, brigands, um, troubadours, dirges. So these are your bards, troubadours and dirges, good and bad. Um, swashbucklers and brigands, those were, I think, pretty new. Um, they were completely new for, for EverQuest 2. And then uh, ranger and assassin. So this is your ranger and then rogue from the original. Um, so, in fact, the original, uh, or, sorry, the vanilla EverQuest 2, when it first came out, you actually had to progress through these different levels for each class. So I said Ranger, but that I wasn't a Ranger until I was like 20. I was actually these other classes that you had to pass these levels, basically, pass these trials in order to become that class. So it's pretty cool. It was really neat. I loved it. Um, but because I have some other classes and because I play with my son, um, I'm going to be a fighter. And um, I'm going to choose a Berserker because I want to be able to tank, but also I don't. I want to be able to kill things a little bit faster. And plus, Berserker is just a cool name. Okay, so I'm going to hit next. Um, well, first, Berserker is a personification of unbridled aggression and fury. They are a fearsome opponents, especially when facing many foes at once. Berserkers stand at the forefront of battle, unleashing their devastating rage upon the enemy while keeping unwanted attention away from their allies. Berserkers depend on strength as their primary stat and because it determines maximum power and increased dam increases damage. So let's hit next. Oh, I can be a fae. So they also split it up in the good races. Excuse me, on the left, so dwarf fae, which is a, a fairy. Um, they're, they're, they have some really good parts, but they're tiny little guys. Having a Fae Berserker works. You can do it. Uh, in, in fact, in this game, any race can be any class. Um, some of them require a, um, you have to um, betray your city, your, fa your city faction to go to the other city, but um, in essence, everybody, everybody could be anything. So just like America, um, good dwarf, Fae, froglock, halfling, high elf, wood elf, Neutral, um, I've never been at Arakeen. I think that they're like dragon people, something like that. Um, you have to buy them free bloods. Again, I think they might be vampires or something. I don't know. Uh, Barbarian, R Ratonga, well, they're really cool for assassins. Erudite, Erudite, however you say it, human, of course. And I'm never a human. I, I'm already a human. I'm playing a game. I want to be something, look at all these choices. I want to be something else. I don't want to be a human. Um, that's when my first choice was a cat, a Kara. But you can be a gnome and a half elf. Um, and then the evil races, the Arasai, which is the evil side of the Fae. Uh, dark elves, Ixar, ogres, Sarnak, and trolls. 
I'm gonna go to neutral because I'm gonna be a barbarian. Um, I know exactly. Whoa, he looks awesome. I wish you'd start with something like this. I don't think. I'm pretty sure you don't. That's awesome. I don't want the alternate appearance. I am going to be male. Not. Whoa, she's tough looking, but I'm gonna be male. Man, he's cool. Just already. But let me start with this. Uh, barbarians. Hardy and strong barbarians never back away from a just conflict. Barbarians are loyal companions and unforgiving enemies. Barbarians are excellent fighters and priests. Huh, I never thought of a barbarian as a priest. Shaman, sure. Because they're kind of wild, you know? Um, anyway, here's my face stuff. Let me zoom in. Ooh, a little too zoomed in. He's kind of rough looking. Let's first take off his woad. Because then we can see his face a little better. He's kind of old. Is there a way to make his age? Yeah, he's old. Let's make him kind of a little bit more grizzled. Yeah. Okay, eyes. Oh, man. They're, they're fine. Maybe I'll tilt them up. Oh, not that much. I want them kind of even. Eyebrow. Up. Yes, I'm looking surprised at you. Curved and straight. Oh, he looks a little more evil. That's just a little bit of curve. Oh, he looks sad. He looks kind of evil. So I want him to be good. He's a good color. Okay. Um, blue? I mean, he is from the north. Let's look. Whoa, that was real close. Okay, let's do... I want to... He grew up in the northern wastes, and he's a refugee to this. Well, you'll see in a minute. Um, oh, eyes, eye color. Yeah, that's good enough. His head. That's, I mean, I don't really care that much. But let's have his nose tilt up just a bit and be... Let's make it real wide. And just in the middle. Piece. And let's give a mouth, and lips, upturn. Yep. Oh, that's crazy. Full, thin. I'll make him a little more full, like mine. I actually have pretty big lips. There we go. Wide, wide mouth. Yeah, he's a barbarian. Any other noises you hear are my kids, so I get to live with them. So do you. <laughs> If, well, I'm saying you have to, on this, people hate, they hear you. High cheeks, and I have kind of high cheekbones. Oh, there we go. Kind of make him look sort of like me. Without, I don't have the, all these wrinkles. He's pretty, I'm going to make him young again. That's, Except you don't have blonde hair. That's true. Let's, Still looks wrinkly. Let's make him barely. Okay. Size, okay. He is kind of small. Whoa, yes. He's going to be huge. Skin color. Let's make him a little bit darker. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to actually give him a different color hair, but let's make him kind of... There we go. He's been out in the sun, actually. Killing beasts. Change his hair. Wind blown. Okay, let's go to the top. Bald. He could be a bald berserker. The braid I actually don't like very much. Wind blown. Young warrior. He's not that young. The marauder. It's kind of cool. The sickle. Ah. Oh, it's got a thing on the back. The conqueror. Oh, like, <laughs> like Conan. The Halassian warrior. Eh. Or knight. The Northman. Nope. The Frost Speaker. It's kind of weird looking, but it's also kind of cool. And I think it looks like um, Tundra Jack or somebody. Isn't there a... I think there's a Barbarian in Original EverQuest that looks sort of like that. Tundra Soldier, Tundra Guard. The Watchman. Now. The Bear. Kind of cool. The Ice Walker. No way. Okay, let's go back. Marauder, the sickle. That's what I'm doing. The sickle's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Oh. Um, and then beard. 
the mammoth. Oh, awesome. No, I love it. Okay, twin spears, brute. I'm just going through these. Well, that was kind of cool too, though. Frozen sword, tundra jack. Oh, yeah, tundra jack. I think that was him in the thing. That looks awesome, but mammoth it is. It's going to be mammoth. Let's do the hair base color. I think I want it to be red and the hair highlight color. You know what? Maybe I want it to be like white. Whoa! That looks pretty cool. And the highlight color can be. I don't actually know how the highlight works that well, but that looks pretty cool. Like gleaming white hair and darker skin and and uh, almost white blue eyes. I think it looks awesome. Okay. Then body. We already did that. Woad. Here's where we shine. Nathaniel's Vestige. The Mammoth's Aegis. That's cool too. I think I might like that one the best. Bonds of the Hammer. That one's cool, but I have my beard, so it doesn't show very well. No, that's a little too much. I think I'm going to do Mammoth's Aegis. Yep. He is one bad Mamma Jamma. Look at him. Yes. Okay. Onward. Next. Starting city. Whoa. I can start a lot of places. I'm going to start in uh, Queen's Colony. I can start in a lot of places. Man. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you want to join the call, you can. Okay, that's fine. Queen's Colony, here we go. No, we're starting We're starting from the... As if... We're going to do it as, as old school as we can. Um, that's my... That's what I like, and that's what we're going to do. So, Queen's Colony it is. Um, I don't have a name yet, but do I... Yep, now I choose one. So, Halleck. There we go. Um, Maj Duel. I think that's the one that has medium, so it's it's none of them are, are heavy anymore, and there's only four. Uh, I remember the days when there was like 30, um, but that's all right. I don't I don't mind the smaller um, the smaller. I like being in groups and and um, meeting new people. But okay, here we go. All right, I am going to use. Um, because of Dwemers. So I can have everything kind of set up. And let's do a little bit of setting up. So this is help. It'll keep doing these tutorials. I'm just going to make that go away. Um, down here is my chat. Up here is me. I will have, when I do select somebody, they'll be right there. I don't have Ahoy! a map in this part. Tis good to see you, oh, mate. not yet. No, I don't talk to me. a little squiffy. At least you cheated death. <laughs> yep, I I got saved. I'm a refugee. I do have that armor. Man, that's awesome. Okay. So, um this is where I shouldn't be able to open this. This is where um your like effects are. Not spell effects, but the... I've been granted a new title. All these things are gonna happen. It's because I have an old account. So I'm just going to, these are going to probably keep going for a while. So we'll just let it be. Um, I'm going to take this auto attack off. I don't need it. I have my little button. I'm going to move this to eight. I don't need to set my bind point. I'm going to put it there. Run can stay there. My call to home. I'm moving away over here. I already know some of this stuff. So I'm just going to let me rupture. That's my one of the main attack. This is a mock. So let's leave it there and then we'll put this here. Um, let me... One sec, Robo. I must have muted you, so let's unmute you. No, I didn't mute you. No, you gotta press the button. Your side button of your, of your mouse. I am. Okay, well, you're not muted. You, better, you need to go into your settings and make it something, okay? And then you should, you're not muted, so whenever you get on, it'll just, it'll just be on, okay? Okay. So, um, and then, what was this? What's, oh, good. Whew. I'm glad it didn't work. Okay. So, Captain Rose, 
He asked, where am I? Me apologies. Who are you? I am Captain Drake Varlos, and this here fine ship is the far journey. How did I get here? Me hearties pulled you from the sea, you and those other bilge rats. Do you remember? Vaguely. Where are we, we headed? Are heading to the island of the and oh! Angry! Quit talking on the shorty and fix that yard arm! Don't want the ship to come apart on these high winds, do you? Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, she'd never seen oh. no before. Okay, new quest. Tasks about the board the far journey. Okay, what can Whoa we do? there, the seas are getting a bit angry. Go speak to me first mate, Wowlum. He might have something for you to do. Okay, I will do that. And I know that he's right here. If I skip over something, I've literally done this island in this way uh, 40 times, probably, at least. Um, so, there's some things that I might just skip over. Stop what? Them. Oh, hey there. You startled me. Can I seem to find me hat? Do you need some help? Sure. Me needs you to go looky in them near boxes. And if you find it, let's... Okay. I can't hear you now. <laughs> Where's Andrew? What do I need to do? Uh, I've got these objectives here. Oops. I need to scroll this arm. There you go. There we go. I should start by opening the boxes on the deck. Huh. I can put it right here. Ah, loot all. Just do it. So, if I got a small bag, where'd that go? I got a small bag. Four slots. What's the four slots do? I don't even need this, but... Er... Sword bear tunic. Let's put it on. Actually, that's not, because my armor's already better. Oh, I've got that and a shield. Berserker's Battle Axe. I already have one. Thanks for nothing, box. Nothing. Let's go back to Wallen. Ah, me heart! I was worried. See, this heart gives me the luck. Glad to help. Me is safe, thanks oh, to you. Charm. Here, take this charm. You may find a use for it. Thanks, Wallen. Well, now. Ingrid over there can show you the rest of the ship. Me needs to plot the course to the idols now. All right, Wallen. Ingrid. Yeah, um, so EverQuest 2 does do this, um, feather book thing. Um, they technically were first? Uh, well, maybe they weren't. I'm trying to remember back to 2004. Um, this game came out literally just a couple, few months before World, our World, World of Warcraft, and for whatever reason, that game just went pow! And, um, as most of you know who follow games, it, it became super huge and is still pretty darn huge. Um, but, uh, this game did it first, for good or bad, they did it first, so, I think. Hello, how are you? I am fine, just, after the last pickup, I have been working extra hard since Vim said she would give me the piece of Lucklin she found. Lucklin. It should be Looselin. That's what I always said. Who's Vim? Yes, yes. Vim, the merchant over there. She found a small piece of the moon and is having me work for it. Maybe you can go buy it from her for me. Sure, but I have Maybe no you have something she will buy. Why don't you go talk to her? I will, bad voice actor. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. She probably did, does better than I would. Let's talk to Vim. I don't want any tattered clothes. I have all of this awesome armor. Um, she wants the shard of Lucelin, not Lucklin. I have a Mariner's Charm. Interesting, I just got that. So now I can buy the shard. Uh, and I still have money left over. Banking it. Okay, let's give it back to Ingrid. Ah, you got the shard! Great! Now I can stop doing this work and enjoy the rest of this trip. Here is some coin for your help. Thank you. Um, did I actually get coin? Like ten. 
Thanks for the 10 copper, Ingrid. Worthless. Captain Barlow's. <laughs> Avast ye! We need to talk. What? What is it? Well, tis bit of a problem. You see, there be rats on board. The vermin keep eating the supplies, and I need ya to go feed them to the deep afore they eat anything else. His accent changed. So you want me to kill them? Yeah, that's what we'd be needing. Good, I've been waiting. How do you expect me to kill them? No, I don't need it the club. Nice. I'm just gonna sell it. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm just gonna do it. Let's do this. Kill him. Kill him, kill him. Attack. Use my attack spells and use our combat arts, is what they're called. Unless you are a mage. Oh, then. oh I have my. Okay, put this over here. Yep. Killed ya. Kill one or two on the deck. I wanna kill them all. Yes, let's. Let's freak him out by yelling at him. What, what do I do here? I inter oh, I can interrupt him with this. And it increases the threat. Oh, level 2. Well, that was easy. Level That was so fast, I forgot. I've been playing the request original for too long. <laughs> and you get spells automatically. Sheesh. Body check. Throw his target back. Okay, well... Let's put, well, I want to put my, um, other ones here. What is this? Berserk Rage. Self until canceled. Alright, well, let's, let's turn it on myself. Alright, and up here you can see it takes one of these little slots. You can only have five. Not everything takes concentration. This certainly does. But you can only have five concentration things going. So, there's some spells... As mage, a mage, you can cast on other people to take concentration, and that will take two, you know, on yourself and on someone else. You have to be think about it a little bit. Ha <laughs> You made quick work of them, Berman. Thanks. I did. Oh, can be quick, Ingrid. Secure the note. There be a dracota. It's a dracota. Quick now, secure those chests. No! Don't do it! Ah! Everything's burning! Oh, look, he's... he's... Yep, come here. Oh, I've got to... I've got to go talk to him first. But look! The beautiful ship is on fire! He must put an end to his life! How far he tears me ship apart. Okay, now I can kill him. Hey, hit you with the shield. Yep. Ooh. I said, come here, sucker. Don't work like that. Oh, she's trying to heal people, maybe? There's a, there's a new crowd. Thanks for saving me. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. And a nice part in this game, granted, these guys are white, but instead of having to hit consider, you can see that their names are going to be red and yellow. All of the consider colors. So, let's talk to him again. Ah, you saved the far journey and me crew. It seems you proved to be quite a hero. Well, with the help of that young lass, there you do. What? There I be did the it island all. of refuge. Get ready to drop anchor. Just let me know when you want to go with Ingrid, I do. swing the lead and prepare to drop anchor. Continue. So, you're ready to go ashore, maybe? Yes, send Don't me to you the mind. Aisle. We get paid to do that. Okay, good point. All right, here we go. Queen's Colony for the 41st time. Don't worry, it doesn't take terribly long. Um, I'm going to follow this yellow glowing thing. Oh, new quest, Shar's Faith. I should speak with Murar Shar. He is at the entrance. He, that doesn't sound like a he's name, but I don't judge. Murar is a great name, but he's also a kid cat. Mirar Shar, emissary of Queen Antonia Bale. Welcome. 
I have been anticipating your arrival. Your skills are greatly needed here at the Queen's Colony. Okay. Who are you? I am Murar Shar, General of the Royal Antonican Guard and Protector of Queen Antonia Bale. I have been sent here to uncover the source of the disturbance plaguing this What's island. The, purpose of this the colony? Queen's Colony was established as a training ground for prospective citizens of Kinos. Mm. Our great city needs valiant defenders. Okay, how can ah. I help you? Your future is as bright as your heart, mm -hmm. but there are perils in this world that only the mightiest of adventurers may overcome. I am mighty. Live for Kinos, and Kinos will live for you. I'm ready to learn, my I'm very glad to hear it. Go and speak I've... to trainer Hale McGinnis, just northwest of here near the archway. I will do I've that. written his name in your journal. He okay. will teach you the basics right. I of... Got it. I got Good it. Luck. I got it. That's cool. Okay, I have a ring already. Put her on. What is it? Oh, I got some good stuff. Three strength, three agility, three wisdom, three intelligence, three stamina. One for disruption, plus one focus, plus one ministration, ordination, subjugation. So many Asian words. Um, I don't need this. There's no value. Go away. Destroy. Sorry. Destroy. Does this have any value? Nope. Destroy. This does have something. No trade, no value. Let's just wait a minute. Let's cancel. Is it worse? No. I already have these bags here. And I already have that. And a bow. Yes. Love it. Okay. So the bags go away. My other stuff goes away. And you can see on the bottom, this is my adventure experience. I can actually change that to other types of experience. It's pretty cool. Um, alternate advancement after level 10. You can start doing that. And um, trade skill experience. Um, I'm not doing any trade skills yet, but I'm gonna go talk to my dude. Whoa, that was not on purpose. Okay. Hail McGinnis, what do you got to say, my man? Hello there! I'm here to teach new recruits the basics of combat. Murar told me you show great promise. Look at his body and then listen to his voice. He is so buff, and he's like, hey guys. You heard it. You heard it just like I did. All right, I'd like to learn. I don't need to learn about okay, combat. Okay, let's see what you're made of. I will One of the nearby victorious. sparring. Partners. I just, I know what to do. I'm just gonna go get him. He's over here. Let's, let's do the hardest guy. So, one thing to know: level two, weak sparring partner. Level two, average. They've got, um, the little things, the little heraldic things around, and you can actually see up here that they're tougher. Um, and you can see, once you hover over, you know, it's well suited to an individual. He's evenly matched with you. Should be a good fight. Creature regards you indifferently. That's a lot to read. So if you just look at these, and I can go up here, um, it's a lot tougher for average. But I'm a freaking berserker. Let's just get him. Well, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Let's lower some stuff down. I'm under attack, but not attacking back. Yes, I am. I am attacking. I, I think you're crazy. I'm, I am attacking. Is there something wrong? I feel like I should be doing better than this. I mean, I did pick the formidable guy. So maybe that's why. Let's see. Get a, I'm working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, I'm looking over here at my stats. You strike. I don't know. You hit a formidable spark for two. I just stink because I'm level two. That's all. But my aggression is getting better. Seven to ten. Oh, this is a longer fight than I expected. But he looks pretty good. He's got a cool mustache. But look at me. No, you can't, because I've got my, my helmet. I wonder if I cannot show you. I might have to pay for that. Honestly, I think I might have to pay. Shoosh. That was tough. Let's, I'm going to go here and see if I can... I hit C, by the way, everyone, to get this. Um... 
appearance. Uh, no. Options. There we go. Show cloak. Hide. Ah, yeah. See? Oh, yeah. I look cooler. So, I still get the stats of whatever helmet I have. Why do I have so much immediately? They must have started doing that recently. You just had to start in your pajamas, basically. But, man, he looks awesome. Okay, done. And listen to the music, everybody. I, it might be a little too high. I hope not, because it... But I just love it. So, did you defeat the sparring partner like I asked? I did. I did. I was Great victorious. Great work. You've proven your worth and are ready for greater challenges. If you want further instruction later, just come see me. But right now, you must report back to Murar, so that you can discover what's behind the trouble here at the call. Okay. I will. Oh, man. I did something wrong. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, games, thank you. Sorry, I got a... Will do. I'm going to turn this sound down. I actually haven't streamed this game yet, so... I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. Maybe we'll turn that up there. The voice volume about there. Maybe that's a little bit better. Cool. All right. Here we go. I will report back to Marar. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. And if you haven't looked around, it's... I mean, 2004? Awesome. Right? This looks really cool for 2004. And it had, like, all the pathing with these guys, and... Unbelievably cool. I am going to quickly run and get this, because... Basically, you have to keep doing this if you want to get these. Uh, these are for... Uh, collections, so you can collect... It's collectible. I'm going to loot this. And I immediately can start collections, and they can, they're quests. So once I collect all five of these, I can turn them into this person. And um, I get something. And usually it's a pretty cool thing, uh, even as you get older. So, awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Dark. All right, Mirage Hello Shar. again. Have you passed the test that trainer Hale McGinnis set before you? Yes, I did. I defeated my sparring partner and learned a lot about combat. I'm glad to hear it. Good. For now we have need of our Except courage. That. Until recently, our colony lived in peace with a clan of goblins known as the Sapswill that reside on the other side of the island. But for some unknown reason, they have begun to attack us. We need to begin an investigation at once to get to the bottom of this. Will okay. you help? I will help. I would be glad to. The goblins have started attacking us from the west. We're not sure what sparked the uprising, but they are now relentlessly trying to invade the colony. I need you to go see how our defenders are doing at the West Gate and gather any information you can. Speak with Sergeant Haggis at the barricades and see what you can do to assist him. I will do so. All right, so if I finish this, I get these. That's what these rewards, and I get at least. That's kind of cool. You know, you could get more. I'm sure it rolls. There's a there's a game dice that hap that rolls, and you get something. So it's a separate Good quest. Luck. Good luck, Halleck. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I know where to go, but let's you know let's run around a little bit. I want to show you guys. Um, we did start right here. You know, as you remember, we just kind of ran in. But if you turn around, um, originally, the game let you off. Like, excuse me, right here. I'm gonna collect this. Um, if you play this game, you eventually be like shiny. That's what people would yell. And I think that in my head still. Um, so now I got a clam. And those will keep showing up. So, um, but look at this guy. This is a new guy. 
Nostalgia Wu, actually the guy who found this code. They lost this island for a long time. The game, Day Daybreak Games, they were still Sony back then. Um, but they lost it. And uh, this dude, um, Kander, the real life guy, he found this code and he brought it back to life. And so he is now has uh, a skeleton guy with, I guess, dreadlocks uh, in the game as a kind of a uh, thank you to him and kind of a uh, a trophy and uh, maybe he'll live in infamy for a little while um, as long as this game runs which I hope it runs for a long time I love it still um, I'd like more people to play with me um, in the old way and not just rush to the end uh, it's just it's a lot more fun to just hang out and enjoy each other but I'm, I'm gonna run around a little bit there's this tower in the middle you can see that um, and just some open space that you can back when the game came out absolutely jam-packed with people this place was um, if you die there's a mender and you're because whenever you die your armor loses um, it doesn't say it now but once you die it'll say each death is 10% of armor uh, strength and so it'll say that it's down to 90% now so and, and the farther down it goes the more expensive it is to repair it um, but once it goes to zero you, you still have the armor but you can't use it until you re completely repair it um, I am going to get this shiny and good it's a new one and you know what the turtle shell is kind of rare so um, I'm not going to do this quest everybody I'm sorry I'm going to try and do as many quests as I can because they're fun but I hate this quest. <laughs> you have to run around and find, uh, find all these cogs and stuff and it is not worth it. You don't get anything near good enough to make it worth it. So um, there's a named that spawns in there. Oh, there he is, the Wolf. Um, named are, are really cool in this game, named monsters because they will give you specific special things. It's always a roll, but it's usually a higher level spell book or combat art book. Um, or um, a, you know, a, a gem or a piece of metal that is rare so that you can um, do trade skilling with it, those types of things. So it's always worth killing names. And then once you get to level 10, you start getting alternate advancement experience for them, um, which is great because you need more, you want more points to do alternate ex advancement. All right. Uh, not doing crafting right now, so I won't go in there. In fact, I'll wait till I get to the city. Um, but you can, if you want, talk to the visage of the queen. She'll talk to you. Come on, hail. Or maybe not. I thought she would. Um, you get a coin that talks to you, and it's actually Heather Graham, the actress Heather Graham. <laughs> Who doesn't? Um... And then Christopher Lee is the bad guy, uh, Luke and Delir from Freeport. And unfortunately, he's dead. I have the Graham still alive, so that's good. I don't have a hawk feather yet, so I'm uh, see. I just keep coming back. So um, I know where to go now. Um, I know where to go on this whole island. Um, so I could skip it, but you get some good stuff that helps you. Oh, level three discovery experience. It'll say in just a second that I discovered something. Oh, well, it will, I think, as soon as I get my Raging Glow and stuff. And Aggressive Defense. Um, that is a stance, I think. Uh, raging Glow. Um, well, I'll leave it there. Well, maybe I'll put it here. Um, and then, what is this? Is this a stance? And Grease's Mitigation. Does it take away my other thing? Nope. Awesome. I'll keep it. Okay, ah, Sergeant Haggis. These scampering whelps will never break through. Oh, hello there. What's that Murar sent you? Yes, he was wondering how our defenses are holding. Well, the goblins aren't very powerful. They're definitely tenacious. It's almost as if they have no mind of their own and are throwing themselves at us like flies onto a swatter. Could you use some help? Aye, you're a gutsy one, aren't you? Well, I'll give you a chance to prove your strength. Fend off some of these invading saps, Will, and we'll see how you fare. Okay, I am gutsy. It's true. 
I'm so gutsy, I'm going to run and jump over the barricade. Yes. All right, Sapswell. Here we go. Let me get you. Yep. Yep. You can't see it, but I'm fighting him. Because I'm so big and he's Knock him over. Hit this other button. What does this do again? Raging Glow inflicts 2 day. Damage increases threat. Yes. See, that's what Berserkers do. They increase threat. They just keep doing it. But as a tank, you want to. I'm going to keep increasing as much threat as possible. Ooh, player. Go boost. So you'll still run across players fairly often, surprisingly. Um, I mean, not in every zone, I'm sure. Um, some of the other ones, maybe not in, like, Everfrost or um, Zek or, you know, <laughs> uh, the ones that you're are in, kind of in the middle of the game. The one at the beginning. Oh, I guess I don't need to kill anymore, but at least I'll get it. Um, if you guys saw the little feather above um, the Sapswill invader's head, that means that they're for a quest. Um, so they make it easy, um, which is kind of bogus. It'd be kind of nice to have to guess. By the but the Claymore, Here you're a strong one. I could use your strength for another task. Hmm. Yes, I'm. I'm ready. The tune of my soldiers set out a while ago and hasn't returned. Search Sunset Meadow for these soldiers and return to me with your findings. I will. Now where's Sunset Meadow? I don't know. I think it's over here somewhere. This game kind of runs that way. It kind of leads you. So, uh, innovation, yes, but oh, there's a dead soldier. Innovation, yes, but um, it turned out to be kind of crappy. Ooh, the pilot soldier. I just had to get near him, I guess. Um, it turned out to make the game smaller and not as quite as fun and challenging. Uh, those types of things where it just kind of said, here they are, go right to them, you know. Uh, did I get them? Report the bad news to Sergeant Haggis. I will. These are helpful, um, especially when you're in long quest lines, but... Um, well, actually, I would never get rid of this type of thing. It's... Uh, whoa, that's crazy. That's super helpful. Um, the ones where it says, oh, on the map, here's the dot for exactly where they are. That's not that cool. Ugh, they'll pay for this. You've done well. Sometime when you're not so busy, maybe you take a job with the Kinos Guard and we can fight alongside one another again. Take this information back to Mirar. Farewell. Farewell to you, Sergeant Haggis. Sergeant Sheep's stomach stuffed with sausage and rice. Okay. Do I have anything to sell yet? I've got a couple things. Let's see if I can sell those gloves, but I don't think I can. Sell. Nope. Rodent meat, though. Sell the two stack. Um, so then if I can't sell this, I'm just gonna destroy it. Oops. What the? Oh, I tried to hit voice chat. I don't need voice chat. I have Discord. Hmm. Yes, these reports are disturbing indeed. I cannot place the source that tainted our beloved soldiers. Mouth's moving. Watch this. I forgot that it does this. Man, EQ2, you're awesome. I agree there's something behind all of this. I can assure you that we will find out, though. In the meantime, here is a reward for your continued assistance. Thank you. I'm ready. To, actually, I'm not ready. Let me put this on. And then I will be ready. Oh, plate armor 18. Oh, good. If you look at it, I've got 12. I was pointing with my finger to the screen, everyone, just so you know. You can't see that. How can you see that? Um, but it's nice that it compares for you. Brings up what you currently have on the right, and then what you're trying to get on the left, which this is way better. So double click just to get it. Let's take her on off. I don't need that anymore. And that's. I'm ready to help now. Ready to continue, eh? The dead soldiers were resurrected by something most evil and bent on destroying the colony. Recently, the wildlife on the island has felt the effects of the evil as well. I must get some samples from those creatures, so that I can examine them more closely. Oh, I could do that. Thank you. 
but I have already sent a skilled hunter to do the job. What? Maybe you should check up on him, though, and make sure things are going well. He's oh. been out in the tainted forest for a while now. Tainted. Look for Shadur up the stairs on the north side of Sunset Meadow. Okay, will do. Accept the quest, and I will get a Kinosian plated coif. Once Thank I'm you done. for the help. You're welcome. Um, but hey, everyone. I. Oh, look, I'm going to get this first before I do anything else. Hopefully, it's new. No, it's not hawk feather. So what I do here, um, I do loot it so that I can immediately destroy it. The reason I do that is so that um, if I just leave it there, then another one is less likely to pop up uh, as another shiny. So I just loot it so that it just keeps kind of running, it's running through. Uh, it's just a little old trick, um, especially if you are um, harvesting in an area or if you're in an area for a long time. You can keep doing that, even if you already have it. Just get rid of it, and then another one will come up a little bit sooner than otherwise. Or maybe not at all. Uh, it won't come up if you leave it there until you get the one, because it, it's expecting other people to pick it up. So, uh, anyway. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, I'm going to keep streaming. This is really fun to do. Um, the... Uh, EverQuest 2, again, I, I haven't played for a while, so it's been fun. Um, keep checking back. I'm, I'll put this up on YouTube, and thanks, everybody, for joining. I'm super fun.